everyone, it's Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to fix the flashing white light on your PlayStation 4 controller. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So if you have a flashing white light on your PlayStation 4 controller, it may be trying to connect to your PlayStation or it already has connected, but it's not assigning a player profile. So how can we go ahead and fix this? Now the first thing we want to do is restart our PlayStation 4 and our controller. So let's go ahead and just hold down the power button on the PlayStation and just continue to hold it down until it completely turns off. So this may take about five to 10 seconds. Now our PlayStation is turning off. Let's do the same thing on our controller. Locate the PlayStation button here and continue to hold this down. Now my controller just turned on, but if we continue to hold down the PlayStation button for about five to 10 seconds, the light on the light bar will completely turn off. Now let's rotate our PlayStation around just like this when it's completely turned off and then unplug it from the wall outlet. So just go ahead and unplug it and this will power cycle your PlayStation. And then what we can do is turn back on our PlayStation once we have power cycled it and then on the back of our PlayStation 4 controller, there is a little pinhole right here that we can go ahead and press in to reset our controller. So use like a toothpick or something and just press in there and reset your controller as well. Then turn on your controller and then see if you have the flashing white lights or not. You could always put your controller into the sync mode by pressing the share button right here and the PlayStation button at the same time. And if you hold those down, those will put it into sync mode if it's not already connected. And if you do have any problems with your PlayStation, it's always best to just plug your controller in with a USB cable just like this. So go ahead and plug this in now after you restarted the console and you power cycled it. Then plug the other end into the controller just like this. And keep pressing the PlayStation button if it's not already connecting. Sometimes I will have like a yellow flashing or an orange light indicating it's powering the controller, but it's not actually connected so I can't move around. So just press the PlayStation button and see if that fixes anything and if it connects to the console again. So hopefully that helped you connect to your player profile on the console. Another thing to try is to delete the device from your PlayStation if it's connected via Bluetooth. So if you have another controller, connect it to your PlayStation or use the PlayStation remote app on your phone to control your PlayStation remotely if your controller isn't working. So let's go over to my console now and I'll show you how to delete the device. So what you would want to do is go up to the settings option right here and select this. Then scroll on down to devices. Then go to Bluetooth devices and locate your DualShock 4 controller under here. And you may have multiple DualShock 4 controllers. Just select the one that's not powered on. So let's say the wireless controller. This is actually my PlayStation 5 controller. I can go to it and select it and then press options on it. And I can go to forget device and go ahead and do that and go to OK. And it will be no longer on this list. Then press the share button and the PlayStation button and go ahead and just put it into the sync mode and it should show up under this list once again. Go ahead and select it with the working controller and it should be now paired with your PlayStation. So hopefully that quick tutorial on how to fix the flashing white light on your controller did indeed help you out. If it did, go and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on your six studios.